Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be setting up the Demon Portal, and I hope you guys are ready for this. Alright guys, so today is going to be a fun-filled episode. Um, as you can see, I died working on this. Um, let me go ahead and clear that. Oop, not teleport. Fix it. Delete, remove. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a fun-filled episode today. Um... And that's going to involve uh, creating the uh, the demon area, uh, which it says right here in the quest book. The demon portal. Um, so yeah, we need to make this guy. I don't have the alchemic cleanser. Uh, I don't know exactly if I need that. Used to clear the destination list of the al alchemically cleanser. I guess I might need this. I might. Um, it's for this guy. So I might still have to make that. But uh, we're going to work on this. And But first, I would like to kill um, something special. That will be using this. We're going we're gonna to kill the Fallen Angel. Because we need a demon ring. Um, but like I said, we're going to be working on making this demon portal. So uh, to get to that step, I had to make the um, Awakened uh, Activation Crystal. And the... Um, Archmage uh, Blood Orb. Um, and this guy, uh, you actually need three of them because you have to make these Rune of Orb. Rune of the Orb. Um, you need these to make your soul network large because um, you need at least 15 million LP to be able to activate this ritual that we're about to do. Um, before I get on that, I kind of wanted to show you what I've done here. Um, I did set these automatic, so they're hooked up to a timer, which is hooked up to a knot gate. And then that pushes down here, and that also activates this as well. So, um, this knot gate is emitting a, a signal, so this does not drop. But as soon as these run their course, it'll send a signal, and all four of them will drop uh, drop coal. And it looks like it's going too fast, um, to be honest. Or actually, I should shut it off. This one switch will shut everything off, and I can just pick up the coal and drop it back in my network until it runs out. But what I wanted was to get two full mana pools here. Uh, by the way, I added these two so this could support all of them. Um, and then I also built the uh, frame. You need the glimmering wood, but uh, the glimmering wood get you get from the Twilight Forest, but you can't go any further. Um, the bottom block here, um, the Terra something block, um, you need to get into blood magic more. So, um, for, before you even do all that, you have to completely, like, you have to, uh, completely go through, um, the Twilight Forest. So, that's what I've done. I'm following this guide over here. This guide is helping me out, but as you can see, it says, Return home and set up the portal to Alfheim. Trade your Lexica Batania, but it completely skips an entire section. It doesn't tell you to do this. Set up the demon. I think that was farther back. And I skipped it. I don't remember. Um, yeah, we have to do this. And this this is a, a really lengthy process. Um, so much so that uh, the, the mod pack developer included this section where it says, uh, here's a link to a video tutorial, which I have used because uh, I definitely need to because I've never done this before. Uh, but it tells you everything we need to know. So let's go ahead and get started with some of that today. We may not be able to get all of it completed today, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. But like I said, first thing, let's go ahead and summon the uh, Fallen Angel. And to do that, we need to place our Master Blood Orb in here. Just like this. And I've done this on the live stream. Um, we'll put three of these on the pedestal. One of these. The Terra. And that. And it's going to send a shock of lightning. And it's going to summon this bomb, this mob here. And it's going to strike the center. And bam. There he goes. So we need to kill this guy. And he's going to drop... The demon crystal. Um, and we need this demon crystal. It says, uh, used to spawn demons. Um, I don't know if I can get away with just spawning a demon right now. Okay, no, it just spawns him. And if you kill him, okay. <laughs> it just spawns him. Um, so I guess you could use him to repeatedly kill 
and gain experience. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's going to be used later on. And uh, that's how we're going to spawn a demon and kill him on top of the altar as a sacrifice. So he is a special demon um, at this point, And we should be able to move on. Okay, so setting up the alchemical cleanser. What I think I'm going to do is use a item conduit and a chest. Actually, I could just probably use a hopper. Let's just use a hopper instead of all of this. We'll, we'll automate this with a hopper. That'll be a lot easier. Okay, so we'll have this guy setting here. No big deal, right? He looks okay. And in the back, we'll hook up a hopper. And inside, we'll use our Archmage Blood Orb, or any Blood Orb. Put that inside. I think if Shift Clip, you can get it out. So this is what's going to um, pretty much uh, use our LP up. So it's going to use some of our LP to melt this stuff down. So I'm going to start off with um, uh, Aether, or a Aether. Put that in there. And that's going to put it all in here, and it's going to cook up. And now, we should be able to use these tools, and uh, we'll hook this up to a bell jar, or a crystal bell jar. Um, now, we're going to need eight of these, and this is the, the, just the process that it's going to take to get to where we need to go. Um, so, as you can see, there's a little bar down at the bottom that's kind of filling up as this gets uh, stuff in it. But we should be able to shift-click, and then shift-click on this... Or shift click on this and then right click shift right click and then just regular right click and then that will be set and then over here we should be able to shift right click then right click then right click now this is going to fill up this jar with what is inside this and as you can see it's slowly filling up and uh, each one of these equals a thousand um, a L I think it's what it's called check the book um, these crystal bell jars, they say what they hold, I thought, once you, once you have them in your inventory anyways. But if you hold these tools, you can kind of see it doing its thing, and you'll see a particle effect. So I have to do that for every single one of these, and you will too. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done, and then I will be right back, once I have all the different kind of jars. Okay, so after what seemed like an hour or so, um, this guy is finally, the last jar is finally done. Um, and that will allow us to move on to the next step. Uh, we really need to find somewhere to go. Let me actually pull this out. Um, we need to find somewhere to build this guy, and I don't want it anywhere near the base. I really don't. Um, I don't want this guy to be anywhere. Um, it even recommends, so far as to recommend us putting it in another dimension. But, the only problem with putting it in another dimension is I just don't know what dimension to put it in. Um, the snowy dimension, I don't, I just don't know if I should put it in these dimensions or keep it in our dimension. Our best bet is probably to put it in our dimension, but keep it somewhere far away. Um, in another chunk or something like that. Um, and that's probably gonna be the best, best way to do this. Um, but I think I have just about everything. Let's check our book. Um... Okay, uh, that's telling us how to make all of this stuff. Um, I do know we're going to need some blocks and um, some, uh, let's see. We have our relays. We have our, all that stuff. We need levers. Four levers. And some blocks. So, like, any kind of block would work. I mean, we can use cobblestone. It's not going to matter later on. Um, but I think we have just about everything. Um, I just need to find an area to put this, and I'll be right back. All right, so I set up this little area here. And uh, it should be big enough. Um, I had to clear out a, a few things, but uh, for the most part, it's nice and large. I actually closed in this body of water here. Um, of course we got a visitor. Please don't, Mr. Creeper. Thank you. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put this up here. And this should be a big enough area. I actually want this to not be one off the ground. I actually want it one higher. 
So we'll get a builder block. And the reason I want it one higher is because it actually goes down below ground. So that should be good. Okay, so we need our ritual um, set to the uh, Convocation of the Damned. And uh, you need the one that can place the Dusk Runes. So this one actually requires the Runes of Gluttony, Sloth, and Envy. And those are easily attainable with Batania. Um, I've already done all that and uh, had that thing made. So, um, like I said, I had a lot of prep before this. Um, but we should be able to place this with all of our runes. We're going to need 128 runes. So this is 128 right here. So if I click this, it should automatically start placing all of our runes in the correct order um, for us. Since there's nothing blocking it, it should do pretty pretty well. Um, I think it goes down one. I may have just placed it one up in the air for no reason. But no big deal. Um, doesn't look like it's taken too long. And once it's completed, you'll know because this will stop. Um, I thought it placed down the bottom, but I guess it doesn't. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Now we can do a few more things. There's a few things that we have to actually do. How awesome. Okay. So that is placing each one of these on top. It doesn't matter what order, we just have to place them on top of these these runes. So one there, one there, one here. I actually separate these guys just because they're the same color. But they all have to go up top here. All right. Now, once that is set up, we can place our alchemy relays. And uh, we'll get one here, and uh, put one there, one here, one here, if I can place it, there we go, and one here. And now here's where our junk blocks or our, our extra blocks come in handy. We're just going to place these here temporarily. Of course, all this is really going to just get destroyed. Um, and we'll put a lever, a lever right here and turn it on. Same over here. Lever and turn it on. Lever, turn it on. And a lever and turn it on. So now all these are turned off. And what, as you can see, they actually move more when they're on. Okay. So here's four. Here's the uh, tricky part um, that we're going to have to set up. So... Uh, we'll have to click this, so we're going to need to set this, so shift right click, then right click, then place. And you're going to have to do this fast, and then you're going to grab this one, you're going to shift right click, then right click, then place. And you're going to do this pretty fast. So shift right click, 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 and then click, shift right click, click, and then click. Uh, link container is either too far or in a different dimension. Did I do it wrong? Uh, I don't remember if I have to place, I think these may have to be turned on to do, to work. Oh, let me turn them on. I think I may have placed them wrong, or pla you place them down, then you link them, and then you do this before you activate the ritual, I think. So shift right click, right click, place. Link container is either too far or in a different dimension. Okay, so I know what I was doing wrong. Um, I got this one linked up, but unfortunately I wasn't fast enough to get that one linked up. Um, so I'll show you how to fix this in a, in a little bit. But we'll know that these two are the ones that we're going to be linking, and now we're going to move on to these two to link to this one. Okay, so the problem was I didn't shift click to clear the save container. That's what you have to do, shift right click in the air to do that. And then you're going to want to shift right click, right click, click on here, shift right click, shift right click, right click, right click. Now we have both of them in the same container. Um, so, if you didn't catch that, I'm going to do it a couple more times. Shift right click in the open air. Shift right click, right click. Click here. Sh shift right click in air. Shift right click. Right click. Click. Oh, I didn't do that one fast enough either. So we'll figure that one out here in a minute. Maybe if I don't talk, I can get it done. Okay, shift right click, right click. Right click. Shift right click, right click. Oh, I didn't get that one either. So, we'll need to clear. Shift right click, right click, right click. So now this is linked as well. Okay, 
So now we need to link this to the ritual stone. So this one has the same and this one does not. If we shift right click here, we'll switch back and forth. This one, we cannot switch back and forth, but we can select it here. But we need to make sure these are selected first and we need to hook this to the ritual stone. So this one, we can clear it right here. Let's clear our container. Right here, we'll select our container. And as you can see, we have a certain one selected. Then we can select this by right clicking and then we can right click on here. Now we need to switch it and then just right click. Okay, that's how you do it if you got both of them in there. If you don't have both of them in there, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Um, we're gonna clear the container here. We're gonna shift right click, right click, and then right click. And then this one, we're gonna shift right click and then just right click. And now this should transmit both um, of those different types. Um, same with this one. It does show both of them are going to it which is what you want. Like um, this one is not linked up properly. So we'll definitely link that. Let's clear this container. Let's shift right click, right click, put it in there. Um, this should, this should still work. I'm actually going to relink this just to make sure. So let me shift right click here and click the container and then put it in here. And then we're going to shift right click this one and then put it in here as well. Okay. And then moving on, clear it. And we're going to select this one then select our container and then select the ritual stone. And then we're going to select this and then select the ritual stone. And that should work. Um, it just wants these empty. It's going to put pull in here and we're going to do the same thing for this one. Clear, select, click it and then put it in here and then shift click here and paste that in there. Okay, once that's all done, we can put the blood altar here. We need our weak, uh, we need our awakened activation here. And we should be just about ready to go. So place the blood altar. And then we need 15 uh, million LP. Click that. And then go around and unlink all of these as fast as you can. And bam. And now we just wait until the ritual's done and kind of get out of the way because uh, that's a lot of lightning. But once it's done and all of that is uh, sucked out of there, um, we'll have ourselves an altar there where eventually we'll be able to get some demon spawning. But we have to kill a demon first and we're going to need our dagger of sacrifice for that. Okay, so I'll wait until all of this is over and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so once the ritual is done, which is just now finished for me, I need to build up a little platform just to keep our demon in here. And now this guy is activated. Um, our stone is definitely activated down here. You can kind of see some particle effects sometimes. Um, but we need this built up just a little bit. Kind of hold this uh, demon guy in here steady. Um, just enough so we can kill him. Um, but what we do is spawn him in here. Oop, not like that. Shift. Right click him in here. And kill him. And we'll get that block. Now we need to back away. Because this is going to uh, turn into something here in just a second. Once the explosions are done. And bam. Look at that. We have exactly what we need. Now we can clean some of these up if we want. That's what exactly I'll do. Because these guys are not cheap by any means. But yeah, we can definitely take all of these that we want. Because really all we need is that stone there. And I can't believe we just got this done. We just got this guy spawned. We should see some baddies uh, shortly. I think the... I think this can stay here. Not sure. But, oh, we already have a building. But no bad guys yet. Um, but these guys... Trap doors. Can I go down here? Thank you. With chests that have loot in them as well. So looks like we have some dark steel. I'll take those plates. Take the music disc. Actually, I'll take all of this, actually. 
There's really not much that I wouldn't want there. The only problem, we got some skeleton guys here. Goofy. Don't want you. But yeah, this guy should expand, but shouldn't expand too far. Oh, man. Well, they should rebuild. Most likely. Um, but yeah, they're going to continue to spread here. It's going to spread quite far. Look, we already have that built up. I'm kind of waiting for some bad guys. Because I really want them to show up. Um, what else did they use to build? I guess it got blown up, didn't it? Oh well. Okay. So yeah, this guy, the demon portal. Um, I should have unlocked that in the quest. Did it unlock? Do we need to pick this block up? Huh. I guess you could pick the block up. I wonder what this building looks like. Looks like an add-on. There's a chest. So yeah, lots of chests here with lots of loot. Ooh, these black lotuses aren't bad. Ooh, there's a staff of traveling. I didn't even have to make it. Wow, that is some... That's some loot right there. So yeah, we have the staff of traveling. I really just need to let this thing kind of do its stuff off camera a little bit and hopefully get some bad mob spawning. That's what I want. I want some bad mobs to spawn up here. It doesn't look like many are spawning yet. Ooh, these already have... These have two chests. Ooh, life shards. Mundane. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so these these chests have loads of loot in them. I will take all of it. No big deal. Thank you. What does this have in it? Yes. I will take all the music discs, safari nets. I'll take all of that. Yeah, that... I mean, it may be small stuff, but that does have uses. This is pumpkin, and that's a melon stem. Oh! Looks like we already have our first really, like, bad guy. Now, we do need to kill him. Like, he's gonna try and kill us, that's for sure. But we really want to want him to die. Um, I don't know what powers he uses. That is something. But we need the shard off of him to be able to get the portal up. Ow, I don't need to be attacked by that. Can you get out of here? I want you. Ow. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so like all my hearts disappeared there. Oh my goodness. That is rough. Okay, so yeah, he's a rough character there. Okay. Um, I don't want to lose all my stuff. To him, especially. Thank you. Oh wow, <laughs> just got an achievement for that? Oh goodness. Okay, so I've died to my fir the first guy I've met so far. How crazy is that? At least all my stuff is back in order, I guess. I really need some food. Um, when these guys are completely spawned here, I don't know how I'm going to fight them. Did he despawn? No, he's right there. Okay. Man, he has got some... Got some oomph to his power, man. He's He's got a kick. That's for sure. Um, I do need to set up a uh like a portal. Like a not a portal, but a a beacon. If I can, if these guys don't try to kill me up here. Uh, let's do, um, what would this be called? What is this called? A demon portal? And it's purplish. That looks good. Now we just need to try and kill these guys. Ow! Let's 
So we like need fire resistance. Yeah, I'll totally need fire resistance to take these guys out. Um, well, I actually got rid of all my fire fire armor. And I got rid of my bow. I don't know why I put my bow away. That was something that I was definitely going to need. Hmm. I really only need to kill a few. Okay, I'm going to go back to the base and then I'm going to come back and have my bow and stuff. Alright, so I'm back. Um, I do have my fire resistance potion. And... I do have this meat, and I'm going to try and take out a few of them with uh, this, and then I also need my strength potion. And see how, see if I can kill this guy. Okay, so he does a lot of damage. We got three soul shards from that one guy. I'm gonna see if they drop soul shards without you actually using that tool. They do take a lot of hits. I think they, what does it say, 200 hit points? Look how many, look how many hit points this has. Okay. So he does drop the soul shards with that. Okay. It's not bad to know. He's armored up. Pretty good. Still in not vul still vulnerable to my attacks with this sword. Okay, this guy dropped the red ones. Would I have strength for 44 more seconds? If I avoid being hit by them, I love how they sound like dogs. Um, I can do a pretty good job. Okay. Okay. So look, I think this is going to be just about it for today's episode. Um, we've done a huge, we took a huge leap into uh, this pack. That's for sure. Can I put these out? No, I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. I, I apparently can't be put out. I'm still on fire. Um, water. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just on fire. Permanently. Okay, well, this, is, this has been an interesting episode. I might actually fix this. I wish it was actually touching the ground, but oh well. Well, this has been quite an interesting episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.